you sit down? I've come into possession of a villa in the south of France. What villa? <laughs> Start at the beginning. After wrapping up its run from 2010 to 2015, the much-loved show spawned two movies, Downton Abbey in 2019 and Downton Abbey A New Era in 2022. The latest film came out in May 2024, and while it didn't make as much as the first movie, only pulling in $92.7 million, it still got mostly positive reviews from critics. There's already a sequel lined up for September 12, 2025, so stick around till the end to find out why Downton Abbey 2 didn't perform as well as the 2019 film, even though it was better, and why Molesley is the movie's secret weapon. The TV show and movies follow the Crawley family and their staff in early 20th century Britain. It all starts with the Titanic sinking in 1912, which throws Downton Abbey's future into question as Robert Crawley, the seventh Earl of Grantham, looks for a new heir. Focus Features and Carnival Films recently announced the new movie with a cute Instagram video of the cast reuniting on set. Michelle Dockery, who's coming back as Lady Mary, shared how excited everyone was to get back together and work on a new story. In the video, she said, it feels amazing, a bit emotional. It's wonderful to be all back together again. It's like no time has passed at all. The cast of the third Downton Abbey movie will feature many familiar faces, including Hugh Bonneville, Elizabeth McGovern, Michelle Dockery, Laura Carmichael, Jolie Richardson, Alessandro Nivola, Simon Russell Beale, and Artie Frushan. Paul Giamatti, who recently got an Academy Award nomination, is also coming back as Harold Levinson, Cora Grantham's brother. Dominic West will reprise his role as Guy Dexter from the previous movie, Downton Abbey A New Era. Downton Abbey 3 will be directed by Simon Curtis, who also directed the previous film. The screenplay is once again by Julian Fellows, who created the series and wrote the first two movies. Downton Abbey A New Era ended with several significant developments. The film saw the death of Lady Violet, a cherished character, and revealed her secret affair with a marquis in the south of France, which was uncovered by her family. Lady Mary, Violet's granddaughter, was dealing with her own romantic issues. She mourned the absence of her husband, Henry Talbot, and began a romance with Jack Barber, a film director shooting a movie at Downton. Meanwhile, some of the staff experienced their own exciting moments, like Mr. Molesley proposing to Phyllis Baxter. On a more somber note, Barrow decided to leave his job as Downton Abbey's butler. Now, let's say that even though Downton Abbey A New Era is arguably a better film, it didn't perform as well at the box office as the 2019 movie. Despite the sequel maintaining the series' charm and quality, thanks to the familiar cast, Fellow's strong writing and Curtis's direction, it earned less than half of what the original film made globally. The cast slipped back into their roles seamlessly, showing no signs of rust despite the gap between films. However, this drop in earnings raised concern about the future of a third Downton Abbey movie at the time. Downton Abbey A New Era made $92 million globally, which is less than half of the $194 million that the 2019 Downton Abbey film earned, making it one of Focus Features' top earners. The main reason for this drop in box office revenue is the pandemic, which has significantly changed how people went to the movies. Unlike event films such as Spider-Man No Way Home and Top Gun Maverick, which grossed over $1 billion and drew huge audiences due to their theatrical experiences, a new era didn't have the same draw. Films like Spider-Man and Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness benefit from Marvel Studios' reputation and extensive fan bases, while Top Gun Maverick had the advantage of being a long-awaited sequel with excellent word of mouth. These factors contributed to their massive box office success, contrasting with A New Era's more modest earnings. Downton Abbey A New Era faced several challenges at the box office compared to the 2019 film. The sequel mainly appeals to older audiences who remain cautious about going to theaters due to COVID-19. Unlike the first movie, which benefited from the excitement of reuniting with the Crawley family after the series ended, the sequel lacked that same level of hype and special event feel. Moreover, the rapid shift in movie distribution due to the pandemic has changed viewing habits. Instead of waiting several months to watch a film at home, most movies are now available for streaming within about 45 days. 
Downton Abbey A New Era was available on Peacock just 34 days after its theatrical release, which cut into its box office revenue. Additionally, it faced stiff competition from blockbuster hits like Top Gun Maverick during its release. Downton Abbey A New Era is considered even better than its 2019 predecessor by both audiences and critics, though the difference is slight according to the ratings. The 2019 film earned an 84% fresh critic score and a 94% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, while A New Era has an 86% fresh critic score and a 97% audience score. The sequel took the charm of the original film and expanded it beautifully. By moving the Crawleys to the south of France, the film enhanced the visual splendor of the series, and the movie within the movie added a touch of Hollywood glamour with guest stars like Hugh Dancy, Laura Haddock, and Dominic West. A New Era also made better use of its large cast of beloved characters. While some, like Lady Edith and John Bates, had less to do, many others had standout moments. Lord Grantham received a compelling storyline dealing with an existential crisis, and both Hugh Bonneville and Elizabeth McGovern delivered deeply emotional performances. The sequel provided satisfying conclusions for long-running stories, including Barrow, Mr. Molesley, and Mrs. Baxter finally finding happiness. It also bid a heartfelt farewell to Lady Violet, allowing Maggie Smith to make a poignant final appearance and reinforcing the Dowager Countess's lasting significance. Overall, a new era was filled with laughter, tears, and grandeur, propelling the Downton Abbey saga forward into the future. Now, let's talk about Downton Abbey's secret weapon, Molesley. In Downton Abbey A New Era, Joseph Molesley, played by Kevin Doyle, once again proved himself to be Downton Abbey's secret weapon. Mr. Molesley, a supporting character from the Downton Abbey TV series, saw his significance grow over time. Initially, he was the butler at Crawley House, but became Matthew Crawley's valet when Matthew inherited Downton Abbey. Unfortunately, Matthew didn't need a valet and dismissed Molesley's services, hurting his pride. After Matthew's death, Molesley was demoted to a footman and later had to take odd jobs, including paving roads in the village. Despite these setbacks, Molesley's intelligence and love for learning were recognized when he became a teacher at Downton School. His character gradually won over audiences with his enduring, good-hearted nature. In Downton Abbey A New Era, Molesley finally gets the recognition he deserves. His fascination with films and the arrival of the British Lion Film Company at Downton lead to a surprising turn. When the film The Gambler was in trouble, Molesley's talent for screenwriting and dialogue saved it. He helped transition the film from a silent to a talking picture, and even rewrote the ending to be more romantic and touching. Director Jack Barber was impressed and hired Molesley as his screenwriter, offering him a much better salary than his teaching job. Molesley's success in A New Era turns him into a hero and sets him up for a brighter future. In Downton Abbey A New Era, Mr. Molesley's long-standing romance with Mrs. Baxter finally gets its moment. Molesley and Baxter had shared a mutual affection and an unspoken commitment for ages, but Baxter and the other servants wondered why Molesley never proposed. It turns out he hesitated because he felt his salary as a teacher wasn't enough to provide the life she deserved. However, with his new success as a screenwriter, Molesley's prospects improved, leading him to propose to Phyllis. The proposal was hilariously overheard by everyone at Downton Abbey, who were thrilled about their engagement. The film also highlights Kevin Doyle's comedic talent, which shone brightly in the 2019 movie. Molesley's ecstatic reaction to the king and queen's visit and his subsequent blunder during the royal dinner became one of the most memorable comedic moments from the film, showcasing Doyle's excellent timing and making Molesley even more lovable. Well, that's it. What do you think? Will the upcoming Downton Abbey 3 bring even more delightful surprises? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates on your favorite movies and shows. Hit the bell icon so you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching, and we can't wait to hear your predictions and opinions.